It could be a game changer for the next generation of astronauts set to return to the moon in just four years. NASA says it found water molecules on a sunlit area of the lunar surface right there in Clavius Crater. Scientists had already discovered ice at the polar caps, but water spread across the rest of the moon would make it much easier for astronauts to live and work there. If you don't have to carry your own water, that makes it a lot easier because then you can carry other things. So using what's there at the moon is a really good strategy for us moving forward. 70 turning right to 100. Researchers made the discovery using a nine-foot infrared telescope flying in a 747 above most of the Earth's atmosphere. A few years ago, we were on board for an exclusive first-hand look. The telescope is riding on a cushion of air with 24 of these black air bladders literally absorbing all the vibration from the plane. That allows the telescope to lock on a distant star as if it were locking on a quarter with pinpoint accuracy. In this case, scientists used the telescope to zero in on the moon. While the discovery is important, they did not find a lot of water, the equivalent of a 12-ounce bottle within about 35 cubic feet of lunar soil. They believe the molecules come from solar wind or micrometeorites that bombard the lunar surface. The lunar environment is very, very harsh. And so for water to exist on the moon is a uh, a pretty spectacular finding, but for life to exist, it would be extremely difficult. NASA astronauts last stood on the moon in 1972. Three, two, one, ignition. Right away, Houston. Now set to return in 2024, more than 50 years later. Could there be more water under the soil? Is there enough for humans? And how easily can it be extracted? The moon is great at teasing us. It's right there in the night sky. It's almost like we could just hop right over there, but it's difficult. Difficult and full of mystery. Yeah, to be clear, they have not found puddles or big underground lakes, at least not yet. What they found is hydrogen and oxygen, and they believe that those chemical, those ingredients rather, could be critical to future manned missions. Guys, back to you. By the way, manned and woman. The yes. first mission is going to be uh, an, a male astronaut and a female female astronaut in just four years. So human, human <laughs> missions. Human, that's Tom, right, yeah. You mentioned future missions. What about Mars? Does this have any application to that? So to go to Mars, to get there, they want to build a lunar base so they can go from the moon and then on to Mars. So if they have these components, they can not only hopefully be able to use it, mine it for drinking water, but also turn it into rocket fuel. So this is a critical, critical step in hopefully moving beyond just the moon and on to Mars.